Start off, Bill. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, just uh, very briefly to give you an update on what's going on with our parts. Um, the uh, tennis court contractor has uh, applied a second base code to the tennis courts. We expect by the end of the week that the, uh, the uh, tennis courts at Cecil Park will be colorized and uh, open uh, for full time uh, tennis play. The uh, basketball courts in uh, Lawrence Park, uh, uh, the post have been uh, painted, new backboards put up, new hoops, and that's put up. And I've uh, met with uh, Tony Bennett, who's uh, coding our tennis courts. He's going to give us a price quote on coding that uh, basketball court over in Lawrence. And uh, once I receive that, I'll present that uh, to the township manager, and, and uh, we can have further discussion on whether we want to move forward with maybe having that done this year. Also, there have been some new swim seats uh, installed over at Cecil Park. And uh, I think uh, I'll be at the uh, Parks Board meeting on uh, Thursday evening to meet with the board uh, to, to invite them and share their thoughts about the placement of the uh, playground equipment up in uh, Lawrence Park. Right away. We expect that that equipment to arrive either the third or second week of June. And I'd like your input on exactly what they have in mind as far as placement. That's all I have for this evening. Thank You're you. Welcome. Thank you. Yeah, engineering report. A uh, couple of quick items I just want to review with the board. Uh, number one is the uh, timber run sidewalks. Uh, this item was on the agenda, but then was pulled, but the contractor was actually able to get all of the sidewalk board, uh, and we were recommending a payment uh, for payment number one uh, for the uh, timber run sidewalk extension project in the amount of 17. 59163 by Bentner Concrete Incorporated. They were actually out there uh, today trying to get started on the restoration and so forth. So we'd still be uh, holding 25% plus the retainage on the project. And uh, I'd make this recommendation for payment. I'll take responsibility for why it was pulled. I had reached out to Dan because at the time we received the agenda initially, um, they still had a significant portion of the sidewalk to complete. Um, they have since done that, so I had asked for it to be added back. My apologies. Make a motion to approve that payment. We have a motion made to approve the payment. Do you have a second? <coughs> I'll second it. Any further discussions? All those in favor uh, signify by saying aye. Uh, aye. I'm going to abstain. There are a lot of record to show four to zero to one abstention. Cindy Fisher. Very well. Anything else, Dan? Yeah, th there's some, an item that I wanted to get on the board's radar screen. Uh, there was a request by McConnell Trails uh, to the township uh, related to the uh, timber run or the bridge and the McConnell Trails project. If the board recalls, there's a bridge that goes over the Montour Trail. Uh, the township has worked uh, into a license agreement with the township solicitor had approved and has been executed for the bridge uh, that, that uh, goes over the trail. What allows the township to do is operate the road uh, that will be over top of the culvert, uh, I'll call it a culvert, or, or the tunnel uh, that's used for the trail. So uh, there's been a request now that uh, phase one is nearing completion and they will be paving here uh, before the end of the summer. summer. NVR, the purchaser of the lots and the wall trails, uh, they have asked the township to, uh, to take or title to the bridge or, or accept the bridge, let's take title to it, accept the bridge uh, so that they have some guarantee that if they sell lots on the other side of the bridge, that there will be public access to that. So uh, Andy has conveyed this in a letter to the township. Uh, I have discussed this with the township solicitor. Uh, she recommends that we have some little side agreement with conditions. We're not going to ask you to do anything with this tonight. Uh, we just wanted to put this on your radar screen. We'll be back in, in uh, July uh, with this item. I did want to show you a couple pictures of the uh, of the structure. It's pretty impressive. Uh, this is a man standing there, so this is the size of the wing wall. Uh, our road will be sitting up here on top of this. They still have the backfill, which I want to be completed uh, before we get to the point of, of, uh, of the, uh, one of the conditions before we would cons I would recommend that we can accept it even with conditions, because once the backfill is put in, 
then uh, you know if there's any stress or anything else related to this. Uh, it's a pretty substantial structure. What they're doing now is waterproofing it uh, on the outside, uh, and then it'll be waterproofed on the top uh, and so forth. That, that's one side of the bridge. And that, it was so big I had to take it with two pictures. So there's a truck, you can get an idea, but again, the road will be up here on top and this grave will be raised up. So this is the bridge next month that uh, the township's being asked, asked to accept. Uh, it will be with conditions and an agreement and so forth, uh, but it's a little bit, un it, it's unusual. Uh, we're not accepting the road or any of other public improvements at this point in time, uh, but again, they've asked for this and uh, we'll be back to you with it. So I can answer any questions you might have now or one asked before we come back, but I wanted to get it on your radar screen. Can you send us that letter to read? Sure, absolutely. Thank you. Man, yeah, they put a French drain around there. Uh, yeah, I do, I do recall there's drains everywhere along that there. Uh, but but I'll, I'll check and see. When we, have a, we have a drain in our room. Uh, the bridge itself, I, I have to check and see the detail. What's up in the weight limit on that bridge? It's full, 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 full force. There's no weight limit on it. It's, it's built for highways. It's uh, HS72 uh, or whatever. It's, it's full, the full deal. Yeah, HS25, is that what it is? Yeah, it's, it's a 50 year design life. That's what we specified in the PRD conditions. Uh, and it'll be more than that. I mean, it's a concrete bridge, it's waterproof. It's, I said it's pretty substantial. Yeah, that's what I want to hear. How long do you expect it to last? 50, 80, 80, 80 years, 100 years? I, I, you know, <laughs> we're, we're taking every precaution. It's made of concrete, and there's a lot of bridges that have exceeded 50 years of design like that are concrete structures. Uh, these are what they call con span structure. They're pre manufactured, they're brought in on a truck, so the quality control on them is really good. All the testing is done in the factory, so it's like a factory bridge that they bring on site and they just assemble it there. They normally uh, place a waterproof membrane on top. On top. Yeah. So it's a critical point of uh, placement when you're backfilling or the structure backfilling that you don't puncture that membrane. So it's critical that we inspect yeah. doing backfilling yeah. operations you know, so we have on site inspection to ensure the integrity of that membrane. But that's part of the character and charm of the other tunnel that we have on the trail, huh? Yeah. As the water dripping down. This is a much nicer one. Yeah. Much nicer. I think there was a question in the audience. Is there a comment, sir? Yeah. Gotcha. Hey, are you going to have more, more is there one thing that's not meant to come on one of those trails? I agree. Sorry. Yeah, there, there will be a, there's, there's a proposed second entrance uh, that will go up onto, uh, Burnside, thanks, Frank. Burnside Road, uh, and but that that uh, second entrance is subject to approvals of the, the supervisors at that point in time. That's not a guarantee. That could be the other route. Correct. Because you seem like when they build these plans, they only plan for one end or another, which is bad. I wouldn't want to live right there. I don't. I wouldn't want to live right there on a main track. I tell you that. Fifty cars a day. Go past your house every day. And then put the speed limit at 25 miles an hour. Doesn't cut. Nobody wants to go 25 miles an hour, even if it's 25 miles an hour. And even if they get a ticket, people go too fast for that. And I surely would, I would never live in it by any of it. Yeah, 50 cars a day won't pass my house. Thank you, sir. Dan, do you have anything else on the report? Uh, one other item I wanted to get on your radar screen. Uh, you'll recognize this map. This is the township zoning map. Uh, the zoning map, uh, there's, there's been a number of, of approved uh, revisions to the zoning map that have been done through, uh, done, done by the Board of Supervisors over the years. And this uh, would be an update to show all of those approvals. Uh, I've talked to some people, and we feel that it would be prudent to list all of those revisions, which we have here to the map. These represent all the motions that were approved by the supervisors to change the zoning on particular parcels. Uh, so uh, they're listed there. I'll get this map out to the board. We're checking 
uh, final items, uh, just double checking everything to make sure we have everything covered at this point in time. Uh, for instance, uh, down in South Point, uh, there's a piece of right in here, which is the uh, traditional neighbor or the uh, the uh, town square development or the town square overlay in, in South Point. This was never represented on the map. Uh, these are the overlays that were done as a part of the uh, Cool Valley change that was made to make these uh, uh, these areas. And uh, there were some various rezonings that were done. Uh, there was a piece of residential property over here on. Uh, Cecil Henderson Bill Road that was re-zoned re, uh, for uh, the, um, the uh, South Point Field House and a number of other ones on the map. I mean, it's not, it's not crazy, but we want an accurate map and we'll get it to the board to review here uh, within a week or so, or hopefully faster than that, that you'll have a chance to look at it if you have any questions. But we will be looking next month for the board to approve the updated map. And, and essentially, it's more of a ratification of all the rezonings that you've done. You're just putting them on the map. We'll get an update on that. I'm you? sorry, I can't blow in on these. The, 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 uh, I, I think I can. I may need to borrow your glasses. I can't see anything. Yeah, there okay. We there we go. So you can see we have the date. Some of these date back to 2012. Uh, whatever the particular, we, we call out the motion, the particular motion and from uh, you know what it was on to what it is now. So um, so we'll go for that. that. We'll be looking for that. And on the on the topic of maps and the notes uh, that the maps the uh, comprehensive plan uh, review is coming up or Jack working on that or has that been set or is it some still at the end of July or August first? Excuse me, Mr. Chairman, that meeting is um, possibly July 30th, uh, August 1st. Uh, still waiting to confirm that, but uh, we're in that inside the 45 day period. Very well. I just want to give the public uh, just a, a range of when that's going to happen. Okay. Anything else, Dan? That's all I have. Thank you, sir.